What if I told you that I have investigated a company that is a software company, yes, but also launched this very ambitious project to orbit around the Earth? I'm gonna talk about that company now. Here is Marco Ulenius, your traveling futurist. When we think about the future, one thing is very, very important, and that is that we create all kinds of information how this planet Earth actually goes around and what have we built here on Earth. Now we are building our digital futures, and there are a lot of companies that have the interest of building new digital products. But you can do it in various ways. I started to be interested in a Finnish company called Reactor because I saw that they were doing things quite different to many other software companies. Not only they wanted to create better solutions for their customers, but they were also very innovative how they organized themselves and what type of the reach outs and what type of the new things that they could, they could build as a part of their business and part of their offer to their clients. Moreover, they were also interested about doing something positive for the planet and understanding that their ethical code is very important as a message to their clients. So the first thing that they wanted to do when they established uh, the company some 20 plus years ago was that they wanted to build a company that really are respecting the people that are giving their contributions. And that meant that they built very, very non-hierarchical company. And today they have been recognized many times as the best company to work for, not only in the Finnish, but also in the European level. And they have been able to do this because they have been systematically building the idea that there needs to be a total transparency when it comes to the relationship between workers and the management and the owners of the company. But more than that, the spirit that has been able to be created there also gives a kind of a confidence that even crazy ideas can be considered when the company moves its next steps. And many years back, this was around 2014-15, the company started to think that they want to have a project where they put their intelligence, the way that they are building the software, into orbit, meaning that they want to create a satellite. And they created the laboratory together with the University of Alta, which is called Reactor Space Lab, where they pulled together people that were hugely interested in building a miniature satellite that can go around the world and take pictures and videos in a such a way that it could be helpful. For instance, if uh, we need to more closely monitor what's happening in our agricultural fields, and also to monitor the environment in a such a way that we have much more information, kind of a dynamic, active data, what's going on. And, and so it was ultimately also about the way that they could offer probably something to their customers that the, that the other software companies cannot do. And so, so they did this. And I think it was a nice demonstration of what a company can do. They sort of open up themselves to the future and see different possibilities and also let their own sort of voice and insight to speak what is and what is not possible. And this happened actually, uh, this creating this project to go into orbit together with the idea of expanding their business internationally. So they did expand into 
USA and Japan and many other countries. And so while they were moving that on down Earth, they also did that in space. In fact, it was the first commercial satellite that they built uh, uh, in Finland. And, and so this is now being also used by European Space Agency. And so they created also those type of the new relationships there. So as in a case study, this is a hugely interesting because it really shows uh, what a software company can do, which is not only kind of a showcase of, of new domains into which they can use their know-how, but also to be very creative about really what can be done and what new kind of information and data can be produced that, that could be of importance uh, to their clients. So I think ultimately they showcase that the future is always open and if you do and build your base in a good way as they have done building a company that, that there is a lot of trust inside and the employers feel sort of empowered then all kinds of interesting things may happen and it's a message to any other company to also to think more freely what they can do in the future subscribe to my channel and you will learn more about the future